Greetings and welcome to the Dungeon Master series. This time we're going to cover the crumbling farm Azula Dragon Temple Arthur. A lowly tarnished. Playing as a lord. I command thee. The dungeon can be found in the crumbling farm Azula section of the game. The objective here is to make your way through the dungeon and challenge the boss to delve deeper. Your route is as follows. From the spawn point make your way ahead to the end of the walkway. Look right and carefully drop down the ladders. Go forward and descend the stairs on your left. Pass the enemies and go straight into the hallway. As you reach a stack of Marika, turn left and activate the grace. Rest and recover, move on after. In the outside area, run alongside the left hand wall to the end. You can ignore the dragon if you want. Enter the building and activate another grace. Now make your way forward and pass through the room with the little altars. Go through the door into a bigger room. Descend the stairs to your right and pass through the center of the room to another grace outside. Rest here and go through the hole in the fence. Pick up the bell bearing and go down to your left. Carefully drop onto the platform below you. Now follow the trail of enemies but stick a bit to the right hand side. Turn your camera up to see the ledges, it's very tricky here. You should reach a fallen pillar that lets you descend to another level. Descend over all the fallen pillars to the bottom level. Now go straight to the end of the platform and hop over to the grace. Recover and press on. In the next hallway go down the staircase to your left. At its end go into the next hallway to your right. Run straight and run down the spiral staircase to reach the boss room and challenge the Godskin duo. By defeating them you receive 170,000 runes, the smithing stone minus bell bearing 4 and the ash of war black flame tornado. They are resistant to strike, fire and holy, have no major immunities and are weak to slash, sleep and bleed. We are starting with a spinning weapon attack. The Godskin will spin the weapon and extend himself towards you, roll backward to dodge it. Here we see the Black Flame projectile, roll through it. The strategy in this fight is to divide them and beat them one on one. I chose the Godskin Apostle first because his kit is easier to counter and the Noble can be left alone. In order to achieve that, kite them through the room and engage the Apostle. Make sure the Noble is most of the time behind the pillar. You can use that window to beat the Apostle. After you killed the Apostle, you can take care of the Noble. Next up we have a slam with the hilt of the rapier. This can be a single hit or two hits in a row. Dodge away backwards. When he raises his arm like this, immediately throw everything you have at him, otherwise he will resummon the apostle. If you stagger him, the summon will be prevented. Next up we have the wheel attack. The noble will inflate himself and roll towards you. If you stand behind a pillar, this attack will not even reach you. Now he will conjure a black flame circle around on the floor. 
dodge away from him. As soon as he hops up like this, be ready to dodge towards him before the impact to evade the plunge attack. Now you have seen the most worrisome of their abilities. If you are fast enough, you only have to face one at a time. The beginning of the fight is the worst because you have to kite them around. As soon as the first one is out, it's way easier. Make sure to play it safe and calm from here on out and dodge and punish them whenever you can to see this lengthy fight to its end. And that's it for the Crumbling Farm Azula Dragon Temple Altar. If the video was helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more dungeon guides, and I'll see you in the next one.